Blood flow restriction training. What is it? In a nutshell, blood flow restriction training restricts the blood coming back out of a working muscle. Now, why the fuck would you want to do that? Well, by restricting the blood flow, what you're going to do within that muscle is create a hypoxic environment. What hypoxic means is basically an environment where there's not any oxygen. By doing so, what you're going to do is you're going to prematurely fatigue the type 1 muscle fibres, aka the slow twitch muscle fibres. In addition to this, by restricting blood flow, what you're doing is you're, rest you're restricting that muscle's ability to get rid of metabolites that have been accumulated within that muscle within the blood. If you're somebody who hasn't got lots of weight, you're training from home at the moment, um, and you're interested in gaining muscle size or you know maintaining muscle size, whatever, um, obviously where you haven't got loads of weights, so you haven't got lots of heavy weights at home, um, it's gonna be difficult getting mechanical tension. So what we wanna do is look at increasing that metabolic stress um, and ultimately muscle damage as well. Um, and obviously what that's going to do at a cellular level is maximize hypertrophy and maintenance of muscle lean tissue. Now, the guys at Saga Fitness have been kind enough to send me a pair of their $190 um, occlusion cuffs. I believe these are electronic, so you don't manually tourniquet these on. These will literally adjust, inflate and deflate uh, automatically to regulate occlusion pressure. So. I have never done any kind of blood flow restriction training before. Um, it's something that I've read loads about. I'm quite informed on it, but it's not something I've ever actually put into practice. So what I'm gonna be doing today is taking these bad boys for a spin. I'm gonna be hitting up arms. Um, I'm gonna be using a fraction of the weights that I would normally use um, to show you guys you know, what you can expect from occlusion training. So without further ado, I'm looking forward to getting these bad boys on and we'll see you in the gym. Right guys, so I've got the cuffs on my arms. They feel pretty fucking tight already, to be honest. Right, so what we're gonna do is press, begin workout, and I think you should inflate. Oh! What the fuck? Today's workout's pretty simple. We're gonna be doing one set of 30 reps, followed by three sets of 15, with 30 seconds rest in between. Now I'm using a cable machine, but you can use dumbbells or a resistance band. Remember, because you're restricting blood flow, you're gonna reach fatigue a lot sooner than usual. Okay, second set's done. I've had to drop the weight down now because I'm struggling to get the reps out, if I'm completely honest. So, 30 seconds of rest for this. Okay, so that's the third set done. 15 reps, got 30 seconds of rest, which I'll be timing now. This is gonna be our last set. Just gonna take our time with it. Squeezing at the top, forcing blood attack muscle, controlled negatives and concentrics. Okay guys, so that is the workout done in about five minutes as it states on this little card that I received obviously with these cuffs. Now, I'll be honest with you, it's fucking agony and I think that if you're somebody who hasn't got a lot of equipment at home or potentially hasn't got a lot of weight and you need to try and you know maximize muscle growth if you're bulking or maintenance if you're in a cutting phase, then I think that blood flow restriction training is probably gonna be a very good idea for you um, of course, if your health permits you to do it. Um, now, it's not the be all and end all. There are different. Fuck, you'll get these off. It's not the be all and end all, you know. It's just an intensity technique, but it's a very good intensity technique when you can't utilize the other techniques like drop sets and stuff like that, obviously, for a lack of equipment whilst you're training at home. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've got any questions regarding blood flow restriction training or anything else, and I will see you all soon.